Hi, this is Kate Klonick from TPM Media, and it's Thursday, June 12th, 2008. With Hillary's concession speech on Saturday and the Democratic nomination process finally over, the political chatter has turned to potential running mates for the nominees. McCain is a head start on Obama in this regard. He's been vetting candidates for the last two months. One of his candidates, Bobby Jindal, the Louisiana governor, is supposed to add a lot of diversity to his ticket potentially. Jindal is just 37 years old and is a bit of a political prodigy. He's had stints as the president of the university system in Louisiana, a congressman, and now governor. But one of Jindal's job titles hasn't gotten much attention, and that's his role as an exorcist. In an essay Jindal wrote in 1994 for the New Oxford Review, a serious right-wing Catholic journal, he describes confronting a demon that possessed one of his friends in college and performing an exorcism with those friends to remove the demon. And not only did they cast out the supernatural spirit that consumed his friend, Jindal also believes that the exorcism cured her cancer. In the essay, Jindal describes an emotional relationship with his friend Susan, who falls into fits in the middle of a prayer group. Jindal writes that the students knelt and laid hands on Susan while she convulsed on the floor and chanted, Satan, I command you to leave this woman. But that wasn't all. Jindal writes that the event lasted a few hours and culminated at one point with Susan trying to run away from her exorcism. Jindal describes the event. She suddenly leapt up and ran for the door, despite the many hands holding her down. This burst of action served to revive the tired group of students, and they soon had her restrained once again, this time half kneeling and half standing. Jindal describes someone entering the room brandishing a crucifix and it having a calming effect on Susan. At this point, the exorcism began in earnest. While Alice and Louise held Susan, her sister continued holding the Bible to her face. Almost taunting the evil spirit that had almost beaten us minutes before, the students dared Susan to read biblical passages. She choked on certain passages and could not finish the sentence, Jesus is Lord. Over and over she repeated, Jesus is l, Jesus is l, often ending in profanities. In between her futile attempts, Susan pleaded with us to continue trying and often smiled between the grimaces that accompanied her readings of scripture. Just as suddenly as she went into the trance, Susan suddenly reappeared and claimed, Jesus is Lord. With an almost comical smile, Susan then looked up as if awakening from a deep sleep and asked, has something happened? She did not remember any of the past few hours and was startled to find her friends breaking out in cheers and laughter, overwhelmed by sudden joy and relief. This incident has been mentioned before, but it's getting more attention now that Jindal is being talked about as a potential vice presidential nominee. GQ Today released a story that talks more about Jindal in this passage, among others. We think there might be more to this story, so we're continuing to do reporting. Stay tuned. This is Kate Klenick from TPM Media, and we'll talk to you next week.